Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James. Here we explore the world of fountain pens, ink, paper, and sometimes we find an interesting pen we didn't expect. This is a pen from Bobby Shop over on Etsy. Yes, that's Bobby of the famous Bobby Fude nibs and all that good stuff. And I've always just kind of put the idea of a bamboo-shaped pen on the shelf. Wasn't sure that I would actually like it, but I kept seeing this one pop up whenever I was just looking around to see if there was anything new out there on the Chinese pen market. And what always caught my eye more than the bamboo shape was this really beautiful green acrylic. And you know I'm kind of a sucker for blues and greens when it comes to acrylics. And so eventually I, uh, I caved. I ordered the bamboo pen that I wasn't really all that sure about. Although I do think, you know, that it's kind of an interesting thing. And I know that a lot of you out there do like bamboo shaped pens. Ranga makes pens like this, some other companies. And a lot of you out there, you got these pens. So I decided, you know what? Green acrylic is enough to put me over the top. I'll check it out. So, so let's dive in. Well, I think most of the design nature took care of, you know, it it's, it's like bamboo. What do you want me to say? There's not a finial, just a polished end cap, and that is done quite nicely, as you can see there with the reflection of my light. That cap does screw onto the end so that you end up with what is a normal length pen, even though it's short when capped. Uh, balance is good, not really crazy back weighted. It's got a number five nib, has a comfortable grip, a little bit of a step down there, but nothing, you know, nothing worse than say a Pilot Metropolitan. And it feels pretty good in hand. It's a nice material. Now I would count the turns, but I'm just gonna say it's really good. It's kind of hard to see on this acrylic, but it feels like it's about one. So that's all good. You open it up and it does include a converter. Now it's not my favorite kind. It's the little push me, pull you converter. The reason I don't like those that much is that they generally are like this one, a bit diminished in their capacity. No comments there, please. And it's easy to accidentally go whoop and empty your pen real quick. So, you know, there's a little bit of risk in all life, right? The converter looks to be the 2.6 millimeter Chinese standard. So that means it will take an international standard short. I don't know that a long will fit in there, but it might. And who knows, you might even be able to upgrade that converter. I'm just gonna stick with what's in it for the time being. Definitely, this is a pen that uh, with some silicon grease and a little bit of risk, you could eyedropper, so that's a good thing, right? The nib is something we haven't featured on the channel in a while, just a generic nib. This is a medium, and it looks like, with the amount of tipping material it's got, that it ought to be a fairly uh, medium medium, maybe even a little bit of a smooth medium. We'll see here in the writing test in just a second. All right, let's do our size comparison, and I was very tempted to just go grab a blade of grass and a stick and put it on there, but I won't, I won't. Here we have the Jinhao 51A. Love that acrylic too, and this, you know, it's one of my most inexpensive pens and one of my favorite pens still to this day. That pen is inked up, and I just enjoy using it. Close in size, but not in style. Much more traditional would be the Jinhao 82 here, and of course, we'll use a Lamy Safari. Now, posted and lined up end to end gets a little more interesting. This pen is almost as long as the Jinhao 51A and longer than that 82, but of course coming up short next to the Lamy Safari. So once you have it posted, you have a normal length pen and a really good balance, and so it ought to be a pretty good writing experience. In its unposted length, uh, other than a couple of quick jots of notes, maybe putting down your golf score or something like that, you know, not so much. For that, you're gonna reach for that Jinhao 51A or the Lamy Safari, most likely. All right, let's see how this pen writes, and I am curious because it was an inexpensive pen. I've had good experience with nibs that I buy from Bobby's store, so my expectation is a little bit high. And I'm just gonna call this the Bobby Bamboo. He may just be the seller and not actually a manufacturer, I don't know, but it's just called the Bamboo Pen, and I'll put a link, of course, in the description below to the pen has a medium number five steel nib. And as you can see, not bad wetness there at all. The ink today is Hiroshizuku Shinroku, really nice ink that I think complements the acrylic here quite nicely. And I have to tell you, the uh, nib, really 
terrific out of the box. You know, sometimes you get these IP nibs and, and they're not all that great. They can be feedbacky or have issues or whatever. Then every now and then you get one that is fantastic. And uh, this is one of those days. They don't really do much in terms of variation. I'm coaxing just a little bit. It's a medium. Uh, here's just the normal little bit of pressure. You can get a little bit of variation out of that. It's not made for that. Just a steel nib. But you can get a little bit of that. The way it writes kind of reminds me of Jin Hao's number five medium nibs. It's kind of funny. I'm filming this on the same day as a considerably more expensive pen and this one. Yeah, this nib has beaten that one out of the box. I won't name names today. You can watch reviews and figure it out, though, I bet you. All things better than what I'm reading about in the news these days. Let's do our speed test and see how this keeps up. This is always in real time so that you can kind of know and, and watch and see. Okay, there was something a little bit here. Don't know if that's the nib or me. Couldn't really tell you. Uh, that just gets thin. Doesn't actually skip. Uh, I think as far as the ink keeping up, that's not a problem whatsoever. You can see that's kind of wet. So that could have been me. That could have been the nib. No scratchiness, no uh, no grabs on the paper. The pen feels really good. That nib, look at that. Yeah, I think that might have been me that turned a little bit because it seems to be keeping up. My first impression is this is going to be a really enjoyable writer. Now the ergonomics of the pen. So the, uh, the grip there is actually comfortable. It does get a little narrow down here at the end for those who do not like a narrow pen. You'll want to know that. Those threads are not a big deal. I didn't mention this in the design overview, but it's important. It does have that drop down, and I mentioned the Pilot Metropolitan, which is worse. Um, part of that is, look at that. That is a chamfered edge there at the drop down, and that would account for why it doesn't bother me as much. That's a really nice touch. This is about a $15 pen. It's not a really expensive pen. It's not a $2 pen, um, but the craftsmanship on it, and the material really is quite good looking and it's polished well and finished well. I have I have no negatives about how the pen is made. You might consider just in general the no name thing to be a letdown, but there's two things I would say. This nib writes really well and I'm pleased with it. And then number two, if it wasn't, what's easier to replace than a standard number five steel nib on a Chinese pen? Easy to take out, easy to find a replacement that is to your liking. You know, if you if it's the shape and the material of the pen that draws you, uh, let me just tell you, you're going to get a good nib with it, it seems like. But even if you don't, pff, scrap it and get another one. So I think this is just a fun pen to have in the collection. So if that interests you, check that out. They do have some other colors. It's not just in this green, but this green, and, and man, with the, uh, with the Shin Roku, is that not a great match? I really like that. If you're matchy-matchy, you know, there, there you go. All right, tell me what you think about the pen in the comments below. As always, God bless you. Have a great week.